days off from NRT. <gasps> the Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are stealth company in Bali Boli Forest. Bali Boli Forest is one of the most haunted forests in Ireland. There's some real sinister things that have happened up in here. And to be honest, this is one I am freaking out about. Searching steady for some sort of flat ground, but the terrain here is, as you can imagine, awful. This is what we're working with. And it's all on a slope. You know, the deeper you go in, it's just undergrowth. There's nowhere for a tent. There's a good spot there, but it's way too close to the trail. We'll keep on looking. Right. It's not ideal, but I'm in a dome tent, so I can really throw it anywhere. I think I've got a foam tent just here. We are a lot further back off the road. So we can't be seen as easy, so we can still hear the car noise with a bit of pain, but... I think it's the only option we've got. That's camp set up. Let's give you a look around. So we'll start on the outside. This is going to be the cooking area. Keeping it simple tonight. Just got some pasta and tuna. And this same old MRE I've been cowing around now for the past year. Um, I have brought a wood burning stove, but I'll probably just use the gas for handiness. And we're using our new little tent. Our little Sports Direct Special, $26.99. Um, a far better colour than the little tint, but single, single skinned. And of course we have the Kamesh, some Strongbow, Jammy Joys, um, Chocolate Crisps. They've got more stuff in there, but that's just what sort of, we'll, we'll start with that and we'll see how we go. And also, something else I want to show you is, People that have these chairs know the, the problems we have with this sort of terrain. They just sink in. Yeah, I did cut um, like a bit of pipe before and drill a hole, but it didn't work. But now this is the latest. These little T pieces here for like popping pipes, like um, I don't know, quick fit pipes for water. And uh, they just fit nicely. They're 15 mil, 15 mil hole. And what I've done is I've just put them on a bit of bungee, you know. Tied, tied it there, goes up around the back here, down here, stays on. Such a good job. And even like that, it doesn't matter because it, it turns itself around. You know, if you, you, you sit on it and it's sitting like that, if you sit on it, it just turns itself around. It's that time again, folks. Time for a Good old commish. The commish will keep us warm and safe in this sinister, treacherous place. Cheers. <sighs> All right, people. It is 13 minutes past six, and it is starting to get a lot darker now. And um, I'm going to flip you around in a second because I can't see a thing with this stuff on. But we're going to go deep into the undergrowth here. Just me and you to see if we can see these unsavory characters. Here, I need to remember how to get back to the camp because this is proper Blair Witch here. You know, it's just all the same. You would get lost here very, very handy. But, um, ooh, I guess you feel the goosebumps at the minute. I don't know if it's just going to get cold or there's something, there's something here with me. Something sinister. But here, if I'm freaking dying, what will be like later on, whatever. It's pitch black. Yeah. Apparently, if 
things. Campers. Have them um, report it. Like things rustling around your tent night and lights and strange moans. And like her cries for help. Like stuff like him. Like what like a, like, like a banshee, what do you call those things? It's like a siren, but only the land, the land version. What's that called? And I'll lure you. Lure you out to, I don't know, devour you, eat you, whatever them things do to you. Now we're, we are in the thick of it now. I go mad. Or did I just hear something there? There's something saying to me, William, stop back. Because if you want me to come, I will come and see you. No, I'm not a. I do not want you to come. You stay where you are in there. Spirits or wherever you are. I don't want you near me. I heard something there. Right, let's go back to camp. We drop a commish? Why not? I think it's a bit of strong road too. Get a bit of free flavour. Delicious. You should all love this in the comment section. <laughs> I think that's almost there. Now, time for the final ingredient. Good old tuna. Best of gear. So as you've seen, one of those packet of pasta things. You drop a commissioner. A wee drop of uh, strong bow, dark fruits of course, and of course the magic protein ingredient. That's us in our little home for tonight. Now, as usual, this place is complete chaos. Stuff everywhere. I am going to get this all packed up into the bag. All to decide, in case I had to make a quick getaway here, for whatever reason. Maybe not boogeymans or ghosts, but, you know, intruders. So, let's get all this crap packed away. Why not? We're on our holidays after all. Cheers, folks. Hear that? From there? From there?
the biggest game you get where you don't get big game. Well, I think that's a night time stroll out in the head, definitely. Freak that. We have been born, I'll have to check back in the camera. My square early. Something gone past there. Off his head. Fifty fifty folks. 
just, uh, just going over about this, I'm going to say, I don't know. So set the camera literally just inside the door. And get the battery back inside the tent so I can use all the USB to charge stuff. So this is what we're looking like now. There's a leak in the tent. As you can expect, it's not really a good signal here, so it will be slow, it will lag, but it gives a look into the forest there to see if anything is going. And um, I think I'll keep this view here, and I'll put that on the other phone, and then um, I can keep watch. I'll give you a bit of a rundown from Ghost Hunt UK, where hundreds of years the Bully Bully Forest has inspired fear and dread. All the locals would stay far from the wood and warn travellers to do the same, not just because of the dozens of disappearances linked to it, but also because of the things that lurk inside. Since the 15th century, there have been figures seen moving amongst the break of the forest, watching people walk past or stalking them when they enter. Thick columns of black smoke have been seen coming from the dead centre accompanied by a symphony of human and animal squeals of pain. Sometimes people naively enter the forest without knowing anything about it. The reports are incredible. People have heard what sounds like a dim chanting in all parts of the forest. But when entering deeper into the forest, they see the trees have been smothered with blood. Sometimes black smoke forms a cloud on the ground and human screams actually appear from it. Whatever is in here, it is not good. An old newspaper report was recently unearthed. Back from 1987, two ramblers were walking through the forest when they heard strange flapping sounds. They thought nothing of it and entered deeper into the forest. Then flapping sounds were constant and followed them, but it wasn't until they heard the sound of a woman mourning. Somewhere in the distance, it began to become unnerved. Thinking the lady was in trouble, they left the track and went to find her. When they reached the point where their sound seemed to be coming from, it stopped abruptly. And out of nowhere, an ear-splitting woman's scream came from directly from behind them. They fled, looking back and saw four hooded figures, clad in brown, ragged robes, standing motionless, watching them. There was no one there before. And that's just some of it. I don't even want to go into a lot of stuff, but a lot of stuff freaks me out when it comes to the whole, you know, the whole, um, worshipping demonic stuff. Oh, I stay clear of that. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'll see you in the morning. Start the day. Oh, let's get this camp pulled down and get the hell out of here. Once again, folks, that is us packed up. And I'll be glad to be out of here. But first things first, we need to do the whole ritual thing, don't we? Any unclean spirits, you are not allowed to attach to me, you have to stay here. You cannot come home with me, it's not your place. You must stay here. I think that's as good, isn't it? Let's get out of here. Just need to navigate our way back to the trail. And once we're on the trail, we don't have too far to go. Try back at the car. And we're out. Well, that's to say, on the trail, so just a short uh, stroll back to the car. 
not so spike the safety but once again we'll keep this short and sweet thanks for watching hit the like button keep her stealth and i'll see you in the next one